हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई सी ई अकेडमी बेनिफैक्टर इन दिस क्लास विल बी सींग द डेरीवेशन ऑफ आर ओ एफ दैट इज द आउटपुट रेसिस्टेंस विथ फीडबैक फॉर करेंट शंट फीडबैक एम्पलीफायर फॉर द डेरीवेशन ऑफ आर ओ एफ यू नीड टू नो इट्स ब्लॉक डायग्राम इक्वीवेलेंट सर्किट एंड वॉट आर द कंडीशंस फॉर फाइंडिंग आर ओ एफ ओके दिस टॉपिक इज करेंट शंट फीडबैक एम्पलीफायर द यूनिट नेम इज फीडबैक एम्पलीफायर द सब्जेक्ट नेम इज ई सी ए सो फॉर एनी ऑफ द फीडबैक एम्पलीफायर फॉर ड्रॉइंग इट्स इक्वीवेलेंट सर्किट यू नीड टू सी द फर्स्ट टू वर्ड्स ऑफ द ने टाइटल करेंट करेंट इज द फर्स्ट वर्ड टेल्स अबाउट द आउटपुट द सेकेंड वर्ड टेल्स अबाउट द इनपुट एट द आउटपुट ऑफ द एम्पलीफायर वी डू सैम्पलिंग एट द इनपुट ऑफ द एम्पलीफायर वी डू मिक्सिंग आउटपुट इनपुट सैम्पलिंग मिक्सिंग वॉट टाइप ऑफ सैम्पलिंग इज डन करेंट सैम्पलिंग इफ इट इज करेंट सैम्पलिंग द कनेक्शन एट द आउटपुट आर सीरीज वॉट इज द पैरामीटर सैम्पल आई नॉट करेंट ना सो द आउटपुट विल बी आई नॉट शंट कनेक्शन सीरीज मिक्सिंग शंट मिक्सिंग इफ इट इज शंट मिक्सिंग इट इज करेंट If it is current is mixed, what source we need to place? A current source. So we have taken the current I I. Okay. First word output. Current sampling. Current sampling series connection at the output, and shunt connections at the input. If you take the ratio of output by input is gain. I not by I I. It is known as current gain. It is current gain. So what's the basic amplifier to be used is to be decided by this ratio. A I means we need to take current amplifier. As you know, there are four basic amplifiers: voltage amplifier, current amplifier, trans conductance amplifier, trans resistance amplifier. The ratio of I not by I I is A I current gain. so based on this we need to decide we have to go for current amplifier so for drawing the current shunt feedback amplifier we need a current amplifier of gain ai and a feedback network of ratio beta now at the inputs uh, output side we have taken load resistor rl this feedback network how it is connected at the output side we have to do see this word now series connection करेंट ना करेंट सैम्पलिंग सीरीज कनेक्शन सो द फीडबैक नेटवर्क इज कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज एट द आउटपुट साइड हाउ इज मिक्सिंग डन एट द इनपुट साइड इट इज शंट मिक्सिंग द फीडबैक नेटवर्क इज कनेक्टेड इन शंट एट द इनपुट साइड करेंट सैम्पलिंग शंट मिक्सिंग ओके सो द फीडबैक नेटवर्क हियर वी सी देर आर थ्री करेंट्स द करेंट सोर्स आई एस the current ii I and the current if at the output side we are having current i not is equal to il now to go into the derivation of rof you need to know what is the equivalent circuit of this current amplifier we have understood how to draw the equivalent circuit of current amplifier in our previous class you can refer that class uh for the quick reference i have drawn it here the current amplifier a current source is a current source will have its internal resistance parallel current will have parallel resistor is rs input side we are having resistor ri a current ii is flowing at the output side we are having a current source ai ii current na so parallel resistor r not and then parallel resistor rl for a current shunt amplifier uh, for a current amplifier ri is small so ideal value of ri is 0 r not value is infinity ideally so this is the diagram of a current uh, current amplifier current amplifier now we need to make this current amplifier as current shunt amplifier so what modification you need to do here this is the current shunt feedback amplifier so we need to connect one feedback network what is the role of this feedback network 
it is giving a part of output back to the input it is sampling a part of output and mixing at the input side so what is the role of a feedback network here in this current strand feedback amplifier it has to give a current if at to the mixing it will what is this if feedback current it will take a part of output voltage so what is beta beta is a feedback ratio output by input what is output of this feedback network if what is the input i not so if beta is equal to output by input output is if and input is i not so what is if equal to cross multiply you will get if is equal to beta times of i not so it is taking a part of output if is beta times of i not so here what is this feedback network role it is giving if to the input circuit that is a role so we can modify this current amplifier equivalent circuit in this way at the input side we have connected a feedback network that is the only difference between these two diagrams if you look carefully in this the source resistor rs is removed because it is negligible the the so the current source is having negligible resistance so rs is made zero here we have connected an if here okay the, this is a feedback network the role of feedback network is this one and ri then the output side is same a i i i r not r l so this is a current amplifier by connecting if at the input circuit now this changed into current shunt feedback amplifier so we have already done the derivation of rif in our previous class now we have to see the rof definition so you need to remember this equivalent circuit for derivation for finding rof you need to do two arrangements in this circuit first is you need to make input zero input zero means is zero how can you make is zero if you remove this if it is open circuited okay if you make this is zero you need to open circuit this one the second arrangement to be done is you need to remove this rl and place a voltage source v which is delivering a current i to the circuit so these are the two arrangements we need to do for finding rof so let us see the modified diagram for finding rof okay so we are deriving the expression for output resistance for a current shunt feedback amplifier input is zero that is 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 zero so we have done the open circuit at the input side open circuit and the second arrangement is we have removed this load resistor rl and placed a voltage source v which is delivering a current i to the circuit okay these are the two arrangements we will need to do and now write kcl at the output side kcl at output loop or output node let us say this is a node now apply the kcl what is kcl current entering is equal to current leaving so how many currents are entering this current as well as this current both are entering and this is the leaving current so ai i i plus current i r entering what is the current leaving the current is leaving at in this path so how much current is leaving we know ohm's law v is equal to i r so what is i equal to v by r so how much current is leaving here it is v by r not v by r not so what is i equation now i is equal to v by r not minus a i i i okay now what is a kcl at input side at input node here we are having two currents i i is leaving 
and IF is also leaving both are leaving the node. So, we can write I i plus I f is equal to 0 implies I i is equal to minus of I f and what is I f? I f is equal to beta times of I naught, but is I naught now existing in this diagram? Previously I naught was existing in the diagram. Now we have removed that R L and placed a voltage source V which is giving a current I, but there is no I naught, but we need to take the reference of the previous diagram and see that what is the relation between I and I naught, both the currents are leaving the node, both are in opposite direction that is leaving the node. So, what we can say I plus I naught is equal to 0 both the currents are leaving. So, what is I equal to minus of I naught? Okay. So, now we can write I f is equal to beta times of I naught. So, what is I naught? Minus beta times of I. Okay. Now, we got the equation of I f. Now, substitute it here. I i minus of what is I f beta times of I naught. What is the relation between I naught I minus? So, we got beta times of I which is coming to be as I i is equal to beta times of I. Okay. So, let us name it as 1, 2. So, put I i in this equation. I is equal to V by R naught minus A i, I i, I i is equal to how much? Beta times of I. So, take A i, ta, I, I terms to the same side, I times of 1 plus beta a i is equal to v by r naught. Okay. And what is r o f definition? What is r o f? r o f. What is Ohm's law? v is equal to i r. So, what is r equal to v by i? So, r o f is equal to v by i. So, R O F is equal to V by I. Okay, now, let us write this equation. V by I is equal to, this we have brought it here and taking R naught on that side, 1 plus beta A I. So, what is V by I? V by I is equal to R O F. So, R O F is coming to be as R O times of 1 plus beta A I. This is a, the equation of R O F. Okay. So, for current and feedback amplifier, we have done the derivation of R O F. What is the equation we got for R I F? R i f is equal to R i 1 plus beta a i R i f and what is R o f? R o f is equal to R o times of 1 plus beta a i. So, these are the two equations of R i f and R o f for current and feedback amplifier. I hope the derivation is clear. If you have any queries, you can post in the comment section. Thank you. Good luck students.